Hey guys, um, so welcome to GitHub on Windows part two. Uh, so in the last screencast where we we just learned how to um, well set up GitHub, link it to our account on GitHub, and then clone a repository locally, make a change and commit a commit a fix, and sync it or push it to the remote. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the so so now the that the repository which we had. Uh, clone is now shown under local because there is because it exists locally uh, Before I proceed further. I'd like to uh, just uh, clear up the uh, Well confusion that we had regarding or rather I had regarding my documents and documents So it turns out my documents is actually a sim link which is a symbolic link to the documents folder so that issue has been so that uh, mystery has been solved now, so it's not a bug on GitHub. I just uh, played it. I just looked up and searched a few on Google and found that that's the case. Uh, interestingly, it's called something called a junction on Windows. Uh, okay, let's get back. Right. So before we proceed further uh, in you know creating in cre uh, to create a new repository on GitHub from here from with GitHub on Windows, uh, let's just look around the what the few options on github for windows let's in the tools let's go to options uh so this step we saw it in the first screencast where you configure git using your email address and uh, the username that you want on the commits to that you want to appear on the commits so this is a default storage directory uh you can of course change it which i'm actually going to uh i would like to put them under work and probably create a new directory here as well new folder github repos so this is where i want to store all my github repos so just to select and it has been updated here we can choose the default shell git bash cmd i haven't tried any we'll see let's just select git bash for now it should be um, okay, so just do update. Okay, now what you're going to do is we're going to create a new repository on the on our remote GitHub account. So we're going to click on Add. I'm going to name it um, GitHub Windows Demo uh, Demo GitHub repository created with github for windows and as you can see the location is specified as uh, github repos under uh, slash github windows demo this is where the repository will be stored on a computer push to github so it creates a local repository and pushes to github as well uh, of course if you have a paid account you could create as private i don't have a paid account so i'm just going to go ahead and click on create Let's see. Cool. So let's do a few things. Let's uh, so the local repository has been created. So let's just go and check it on our file system, C drive, work, and indeed, it's empty with a couple of files which are specific to Git, Git ignore, and Git attributes. And it also says here this computer doesn't have a readme, readme, uh, blah blah. Okay, cool. Let's just go to the GitHub page and see if the repository was indeed created. So I'll just go to my GitHub home, go to repositories, and indeed it has been created. All right, great. So what I'm going to let's click on it, or rather, yeah, open this repo. Two files to be oh okay, two files to be committed. Interesting. Okay, so looks like it created the repository, but uh, it didn't really commit any files here. Uh, if you remember, it doesn't. So it doesn't have really have any files. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a file here um, using well a text document maybe. Yeah, um, readme dot md. Um, this is. Uh, read me file then do save it 
yeah this is notepad at its best i think it it it, it adds that default .txt extension so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create from notepad change that to uh, readme.md which is a extension from markdown file huh. and here we go as you can see it has created two files so I'm just going to delete this one delete this okay what I'm also going to do is I'm going to copy a first few uh, a Python file which I had or rather even a C program for example let's say um, that's executable so I'm just going to copy from here um, going to paste it okay so I have created two new files here and as you can see it has automatically uh, it has automatically synced with the list of files here and it shows me so I'm going to now initial commit of a few dummy files to do a commit it's unsynced so I'm just going to go ahead and publish it it's publishing and once it completes it should be Cool. So as you can see, these are the this is the diff. So for example, your the C file that I committed, the readme file, and if I now, so indeed the files have been created here. So that's pretty cool. So task two accomplished with GitHub for Windows. Let's go back. Uh, all right, let's check a few other features. Let's say open a shell here feature. Okay, so when you do open a shell here, where it basically gives you a command window uh, with the location set to the location of your repository. So it shows you the current files, and of course you could use git. So git is available on the, it has been, the path has been set, so git is available for you to use here. So you can make your changes to files, track them, commit, push, just, just the way you'd use git on, for example, Linux or uh, Mac OS X from the command line. So that's really neat. Okay, so, so okay, so one last thing that um, we're gonna check is um, the clone in Windows feature from the web page itself. So let's say I go to other of my multitude of repositories which I probably haven't committed anything to for a long long time so well anyway <laughs> let's see let, let's go to my raspberry guide um, repository and uh, let's look for the clone in windows indeed so 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 s look we have the clone in windows um, button so i'm going to click on it and let's see what happens so google chrome needs to launch an external application to handle which is fine so basically it's saying that it needs to launch a external application and which you see it's actually github.exe uh, so I'm just going to remember my choice for links of this type. You might see a different dialog box depending upon your browser, such as Firefox, for example. So I'm just going to do and do launch application, and let's see. And voila, that's magical. So as you can see, it's um, cloning the repository. It's nine percent, forty-four. Awesome. This is quite cool. This is really neat. still cloning yeah I think I had quite a few files and images as well there so maybe that's why it's taking a rather long time yes I think I had a uh, quite a number of high resolution images out there <laughs> yeah it's probably that's why it's taking a long time anyway so let this process complete Let's see if we have something else. So I'm just going to open this repo. Uh, oh, that's really neat. Um, so this continues in the background, I think. So we'll see. Anyway, so let's do open this repo and uh, see if there's something else that we can explore here. Uh, 
So this is the branch that it shows you, uh, current branch that you're on. Oh, I and I can create a new branch here as well. So for example, okay, I won't create the branch here. I'll just go there, go to our remote uh, demo repository. We'll click on here and just going to select branch one. That's really nice. So I'm just going to press enter and look here. We have a new branch of the repository. This is really good. And um, of course, so once you create a branch, uh, this has obviously not been uh, pushed to the remote repository. So if I just click on publish, the branch will be pushed. And uh, let's just go ahead and check if it has been pushed yet. So let's go to that repository. Mm, let's go to GitHub Windows demo. Let's see if um, right. And as you can see, the branch one is here. So that's quite awesome. Okay, so I think that's pretty much what I had to discuss in this part. So that completes um, this two-part series on GitHub for Windows. Uh, it looks really neat. Um, so going back to its um, home page it indeed is the easiest way to use git on windows and it really looks awesome uh, hope you enjoyed the screencast um, till the next screencast goodbye